टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लैब टू दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू यू वन टू इन दिस लैब वी विल डिस्कस यू वन टू एंड इट्स इंस्टॉलेशन यू वन टू इज एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दैट इज डेवलप बाय अ वर्ल्ड वाइड कम्युनिटी ऑफ प्रोग्रामर्स एज वेल एज बाय एम्प्लॉज ऑफ यू वन टू कमर्शियल स्पॉन्सर canonical ubuntu is based on the concept of free or open source software meaning that you do not pay any licensing fee for ubuntu and you can download use and share the operating system free of charge being a linux based operating system ubuntu has a well deserved reputation for stability and security Historically Linux has proven itself to be a workhorse server operating system and this is where up until now it has been most widely used and best known as of June 2007 78% of the world's top 500 supercomputers were running Linux according to top500.org However, in recent years Linux has become viable on desktop and laptop computers, making it an option for individuals and business. Ubuntu is generally acknowledged to be the most widely used version of Linux available and Mark Shuttleworth, the founder and CEO of Canonical estimates Ubuntu has between 6 and 8 million users because the software is free to download and share it is difficult to track exact usage numbers now let's compare ubuntu with windows and os x how does ubuntu compare to the two best known operating systems microsoft windows and apple os x the most obvious way is in the licensing and distribution terms ubuntu is free software a term which is often misunderstood to mean only free of cost while ubuntu is free of cost the term free software more accurately refer to the freedom to run the program for any purpose to study how the program works and modify it to your needs to redistribute copies and to improve the program and release your improvement to the public you want to also include many of the programs used for everyday computing at no cost unlike windows and os x some examples are office suit a full office suit with a word processor spreadsheet and presentation software that can read and write in .doc .xls and .ppt formats and can also output to pdf and support the iso standard for electronic office documents open document format free training for openoffice.org is available desktop email clients evolution an email program with a similar interface to microsoft outlook web browser firefox the increasingly popular web browser databases the two most best known open source databases on linux are postgresql and mysql but commercial database such as oracle and ibm db2 are also available There are also tools like Gloom that provides an easy to use graphical interface for designing and editing databases. Each release of Ubuntu includes bug fixes and security updates at no cost for 18 months. After 18 months, 
security updates and bug fixes will no longer be provided but you are free to keep using the using that version of ubuntu if you like or update online to a newer version that is supported in this way moreover every two year ubuntu release a version that provides bug fixes and security updates for a longer period of time three years on desktop or laptops and five years on servers making it a good solution for those who want to a longer rest between releases of course being open source gives ubuntu one other major difference over windows and os x and that is the ability for user to modify it in any way that suits them there are two types of modification most relevant here bug fixes security fixes are feature enhancements which are contributed back to ubuntu are the original application authors if relevant customization to ubuntu for a given set of circumstances called the derivatives some examples are highlighted like uh, Ubuntu's website, you can find and Ubuntu a security testing platform, Ubuntu st Studio for multimedia editing and creation. Uh, let's discuss installation of Ubuntu. For all subsequent labs, you will be required Ubuntu, so learn how to install. We have three options to perform installation on system. Number one, vanish windows from your computer and install a fresh Ubuntu from scratch. Option number two, dual, U, uh, dual boot Ubuntu and Windows. And option number three, run Ubuntu inside a virtual environment such as VirtualBox, VMware, uh, like virtualization provided, providing softwares. Uh, let's discuss about dual boot, dual boot Ubuntu and Windows. First of all, you need to download the Ubuntu ISO file from ubuntu.com downloads. And second, uh, download this software that is rufus.ie. After installing Rufus on your system, click on the Rufus icon and it will launch this window. Insert a flash drive or attach a flash USB drive with your system and connect and select device. Here you have selected Kingston 7.8 GB, that is the size of uh, USB you have attached with your uh, system. And this is the downloaded version. Here you will select the operating system you have downloaded. Select the ISO format you have downloaded from the Ubuntu website. After you have selected the Ubuntu uh, 18.01 or any latest version, you are ready to add a bootable image of your so. Uh, bootable image of your operating system in USB drive. After all settings has been made, click on start and it will start copying ISO file on USC, USB. Now unplug USB from uh, system when you have written all the required files to install Ubuntu on your system. Attach 
bootable USB to the system where you want to install Ubuntu and boot and select the option boot from USB. Once the USB correctly connected with the system and booted from the USB, you will have two options. Number one, try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu and language. After clicking on install Ubuntu, next window will appear and it will ask what applications would you like to install to start with. Number one is normal installation which includes web browsers, utilities, office software, games and media players. And option number two is minimal installation, web browser and basic utilities. So you can select according to the uh, your requirement, minimal installation obviously take less resources and other options are download updates while installing Ubuntu. So after checking on this option, your system will download updates if there are any and install afterwards. After selecting options, you will have another window and it will show that this computer currently has no detected operating system. What would you like to do? Erase disk and install Ubuntu. This will delete all your programs, documents, photos, music and any other files in all operating system. Or you can select encrypt the new Ubuntu installation for security and other options are there something else you can create a resize partition yourself or choose multiple operations uh, for partition for ubuntu after checking on the options and hitting uh, install now a warning message will appear on your screen if you continue the changes will listed below will return to the disk otherwise you will be able to make further changes manually warning this will destroy all data on any partition you have removed as well as on the partition that are going to be formatted After clicking on continue, other option, other window will ask you about the, your whereabout. You can click according to your geographic location. Then other options are your name, your computer's name, pick a username. You can uh, type any username of your choice and you can also modify your computer's name your name and you can uh, select a good password and here are two options login automatically and option number two is require my password to login after setting these options you will see this welcome window welcome to ubuntu and it will retrieve all files that those are required to install Ubuntu. And after the setup completed, installation will be done. If you want to run Ubuntu inside a virtual environment, you can use VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a software which can run Ubuntu. After installation VirtualBox, you will have options Ubuntu download. This is the download page of Ubuntu.com download desktop. Here you can download the operating system.
and here you can create virtual machine name and the operating system here you can select my ubuntu and machine folder type of the operating system is linux based and version is ubuntu 64 bit here you can select the amount of memory ram in megabytes to be allocated to the virtual machine here you uh, you will be asked create virtual machine create a virtual hard disk now here you can uh, create hard disk file type storage and storage on physical hard disk uh, you can select dynamically allocated or fixed size so dynamically allocated is recommended file location and size here you can select the size of the virtual hard disk in megabytes this size is the limit on the amount of file data that a virtual machine will be able to store on the hard disk here you can select the startup disk after selecting your uh, startup disk you can again uh, route it to the first installation screen of ubuntu where you can click on the option those we have discussed already and after completing these steps you will be able to run ubuntu on virtual box environment that's all for today lecture